Now, I want to get back to taste good, though, because I think meat tastes great. It might shock you to hear me say that, but if you're doing some kind of extra credit essay on my speech and you want to quote me, quote me right now. I love the way meat tastes. Love it. Cheese. Love it. Cow's milk and eggs. Love it. Guilty as charged. I did not stop eating this stuff because of a taste issue. I stopped for ethics, morality, decency, compassion to the animals that I share this planet with. But here's the coolest thing about being vegan in this day and age. It's never been easier. You can have the same smell, taste, and texture of meat, cheese, and milk without it. Nobody has to suffer and die for your dinner anymore, including you. They make all the products you like to eat in a vegan version. They make it from, from soy and wheat and rice and hemp. I want to show you some of the products that are out there, and I'm not receiving compensation from these companies. These are my selections of best tasting mock meat. I'm going to put them up on the screen so we can all see it clearly. You guys like bacon? Light Life, Smart Bacon. Bacon made from soy. This company, Light Life, also makes smoky tempeh bacon. Now, tempeh is a fermented version of soy, so it tastes a little different than the other stuff, but keep in mind, I would not recommend products to you if they didn't taste fantastic. I am trying to win you over, so you go veg. I'm not showing you every product we have. Some of our products suck. I'm showing you the best of the best. And when I say some of our products suck, don't act like there aren't shitty Chinese restaurants, nasty pizza places, and disgusting hamburger joints, okay? It works both ways. If it's made great, no matter what it is, it tastes great. If not, it's going to stink. Light Life also has soy chicken strips and steak strips as well. They also have a full line of deli meats. Turkey, bologna, and ham. You cannot tell the difference by sight, taste, or texture. Small company called Melissa's has chorizo, vegan chorizo. Energy bars, like Cliff Bars, Luna Bars, and a new bar just came out called Pro Bar, might not have seen that one yet. They're all vegan, and many other companies have a vegan energy bar as well. Now remember, when you go veg, you don't give up anything. You got the vegan version of stuff, or eat things that are truly natural, like fruits and vegetables, or beans and lentils. You like turkey? We got you covered. My favorite product, tofurkey. <laughs> Tofu turkey. Stuffing on the inside. Look, smells and tastes like turkey. You gotta slice it with a knife. But guess what? No turkey had to suffer and die for this. Tofurkey also has tofurkey slices. Six different flavors of tofurkey slices. Tofurkey also has tempeh strips. Remember I talked about the fake and bacon with light light tempeh? So they have some tempeh products too. Tofurkey also has Italian sausage, beer brats, and there seems to be an addiction in our society for beef jerky. I don't know what the hell is going on with everybody's taste buds. Everybody's lost their minds, but we got you covered. Tofurky jerky, anything you're looking for, we've got that stuff veganized. And many other companies have a vegan jerky as well. The absolute best company on the market right now is It's All Good Gardein Protein. That is one of their chicken dishes. That is two of their chicken dishes. Three chicken dishes. They have more chicken dishes. They have steak dishes. And they just came out a few months ago with buffalo wings as well. Trader Joe's, that grocery chain, they want to compete now in the soy meat industry. They made their own brand of soy chicken and soy steak strips. There's a company called Vegetarian Plus, and they have vegan citrus spare ribs. And Garden Burger has had riblets, mock ribs, for over 10 years. I can't tell you how many of my meat-eating friends and family members I flat out fooled with this stuff. And this company also has shrimp, uh, kung pao chicken, orange chicken, and tuna rolls as well. Now, I mentioned wheat meat earlier. I don't think people really understand what it is. There's actually a name for it. It's called Satan. Not Satan. Satan. <laughs> I want to give this stuff a try too. And they now have flavored Satan on the market too by Upton's, ground beef style, chorizo style. And they also have an Italian sausage flavor as well. Another favorite company Nate's Meatless Meatballs. Now, I know you guys have seen veggie burgers before, probably Boca. But if you don't like Boca, good news, there's Amy's, Morningstar Farms, Dr. Prager's, Sunshine Burgers, and Garden Burger, all the different taste and texture. If you're looking for no soy, different kind of mock meat in your diet, new company called Bahama, Rice Burgers, burgers from rice. 
We also have sausage and meatballs made out of rice as well. Another company with a no soy, different kind of mock meat taste. A small company from Cincinnati called Five Star Foodies has artichoke burgers. My new favorite veggie burger by far, burgers from artichokes. We also have a harvest roast. It says vegetarian, but it is vegan. It's a fake turkey with fake skin around it, too. Now, Amy's is on the market. I know you've seen her stuff. She's got a ton of stuff. But keep in mind, most of her stuff is only vegetarian. Still has eggs and cheese and other uh, animal byproducts in there. But one of her vegan stuff, tofu scramblers, a fake egg. A hot pocket that actually tastes good and it's good for you, too. Amy's also has rice macaroni with diet cheese, a brand new vegan cheese on the market. Diet cheese, which you can find in Whole Foods right now. Comes in two different flavors. A lot of people are going crazy for the diet cheese. Uh, I still like Follow Your Heart, which has four different flavors. The vegan cheese comes in a big block and it melts. Now sometimes you got to be creative with this stuff. Light Life also has <laughs> vegan pepperoni, which is ready to eat directly out of the bag. If you get some of this vegan pepperoni, Buy yourself a Tofuti pan pizza with Tofuti soy cheese on it. Tofuti also has cream cheese, sour cream, and ice cream as well. Before it goes in the oven or after it comes out of the oven, slap some pepperoni on there and you have yourself a pizza. Remember, there's soy milk and rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk, coconut milk, oat milk, hazelnut milk, seven vegan milks on the market. There's soy ice cream, rice ice cream, almond ice cream, and coconut milk ice cream and ice cream bars by So Delicious. And let me just say this, you have never in your life had ice cream until you've had the coconut milk ice cream by So Delicious. If you go to my website and click on Bed Shopping Guide, I have taste tested everything for you in advance. Check out the brand names I recommend. I can assure you, I eat nothing nasty. And what about ethnic food, Indian food, Middle Eastern food, Mexican food, plenty of veggie options there, Italian food, pasta and spaghetti, and real pasta, real spaghetti, just like bread never requires animal products. Now unfortunately we've defiled these products, so you always have to ask or check out the ingredient list, but every Italian joint has at least one, if not two or three of the genuine noodles, which are always vegan, and when it comes to the best bread around, Whole Foods, or Panera Bread, Brugger's Bagels, Einstein Bagels, 90% of those breads and bagels are always vegan. Uh, Asian food, Japanese food, Chinese food, Thai food, Korean food, Vietnamese food. All you have to do is substitute tofu for the meat in any of their dishes. Tell them to make it without fish sauce and you have a vegan meal. And soul food can be veganized as well. In fact, you guys are pretty lucky to be in Atlanta. You have two soul food restaurants owned by the same company, Soul Vegetarian, 10 minutes from campus. Vegan mac and cheese, collard greens, yams. They have something called a kale bone sandwich, which is a fake roast beef sandwich with cheese dripping off of it, too. you got to check out Soul Vegetarian. And don't think, I don't watch your faces when I'm up here. How come when I talk about mock meat? I always catch a handful of people in every crowd, and we got a big crowd today, so I stopped counting at about eight or nine. How come there's always a handful of people that wrinkle up their noses, make big wide eyes, and start glancing at the people next to them across the aisle like, soy chicken, is this guy crazy? Soy bacon, he must be out of his mind. How come this stuff that is made of soy, wheat, vegetables, grains, and spices, no chemicals, Contrary to the lies being spread about these products by the meat and dairy industries, how come this stuff is considered gross to most people, but meat? Meat's got five components. Let me break it down for you. Blood, flesh, veins, muscles, and tendons. The cut-up corpse of a dismembered body. How does meat not qualify as gross and disgusting to everybody? How in the world is a beverage? A liquid that oozes out of the udders of cows, a secretion that drips from the mammary glands of another being that's loaded with pus, by the way. Oh yeah, let me tell you about the pus in your cow milk. It'd be my pleasure when you hook machines up to the udders of cows three times a day to suck them dry. Those machines cause massive amounts of infections on the inside and outside of the udder. Now let's add all the bovine growth hormone they put in cows to make sure they produce huge quantities of milk, which always leads to another infection. The machine doesn't know what not to suck out. 
pus, mucus, and infections right in with your milk, and yeah, milk is pasteurized. But when did pasteurization become a removal process? It's a sanitation process. You're only sanitizing pus. And if you want to look this up online, well, you don't think the dairy industry would ever use the word pus when they write about this problem in their own trade journals. Yeah, they're going to deceive you again with this. Look up the scientific term for pus, somatic cell count. And by the way, our government, the USDA, they allow the dairy industry to have a maximum amount of one eyedropper full of pus in every glass of milk. Drink up. Oh, and by the way, while you're looking up that lie from the dairy industry and all the other ones, you might want to look up casomorphins. I got it up on both sides of the board. Remember that part in the speech earlier when I talked about people being hooked on cheese like it was laced with weed, crack, and morphine? Mother cows before birth produce a substance in their milk to make sure that the calf stays close. Actually, human women do this too. It's not morphine. But in cows, it is a version of morphine, casomorphins. That's why people are so hooked on cheese. Got to have their daily fix of morphine. Does anybody know what an egg actually is from a hen? And don't say embryo or aborted fetus, not even close. It's unfertilized, so it can't be either. Hen is a female, though. Unfertilized egg through a female system. It's part of her menstruation cycle. It's a hen's period. People scramble up hen periods in the morning. And all of a sudden, I'm weird because I don't make omelets anymore. And what about vomit? Oh, we're going to take those blinders off today. Come on, you guys love vomit. You adore it all over your food. Better give this one a pretty name, though. No one's going to buy and eat vomit. Unless we call it honey instead. Honey comes directly from a bee's stomach. It is regurgitated right through a bee's mouth. Look it up with any wildlife biologist. But nobody wants to eat bee vomit nut Cheerios. We want honey nut Cheerios. So we hire ourselves to play euphemism games. The standard diet of a meat eater is blood, flesh, veins, muscles, tendons, cow secretions, hen periods, and bee vomit? Now we're not done yet. I am not going to let you off that easy while I got you here today. You know, we top this all off, in my opinion, because every November, during that certain holiday people love so much, people take a dead turkey, open up the dead turkey's ass, or carve out a really big hole in their ass, take some stuffing and shove it inside their dead empty ass, and use their little dead ass as an oven to bake some bread. Somebody else's dead, empty, bacteria-laden ass to make bread? Ass bread? <laughs> and people think vegans are weird? Because we eat tofu and rice and beans and lentils? I tell people one of my favorite meals nowadays, yams. Boy, dish me up a plate of yams for dinner and I'm a happy guy. I know how most people are, though. I tell them this, they're like, but you just eat yams for dinner? I don't know, man, it's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. But somebody else's rib cage sitting on your plate isn't weird, doesn't make you think twice. Severed legs, sliced up thighs, and mutilated breasts sitting on your plate doesn't make you think twice. And you want to know why? Those blinders are on nice and tightly, aren't they? And I bet most of you were perturbed at me when the speech began, and I accused everybody of having blinders on. I am not here to be your enemy. I am here to call you out, though. You might have had a pretty good excuse before I got here of being uninformed and misinformed. Okay. That's fair. Honestly, well, I was the same way for a long time. I'm kind of curious, though. What's the excuse?